Kaka kawa na loya liki koa ki pula ni kama maka kawa kama maka kawa ku pa ama hope ku pa ama hope o kai na ua la ku e ku e kapu kawa koa bovili koki vivo ole me na kaka poe me na koa loya liki kama maka kawa iho i kai ka ho i ho i ho i na pono o kala kawa Six of it and winning the 250 pound baddest bully boarder at Makaha Beach 40th annual Buffalo Big Board Surfing Classic. Brandon 249 and a half Martin. Rico's friend. So he won anyway. Nah, 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 nah. So hey, so you have to top it. And winning the heat. Ha'a Keolana! Hip hip! Hip hip! Yeah. 
and went into the big long board, or the twiddle wind long board, excuse me. Travis, Travis, pick up your board right here. Hooray for Brandon, hooray so, at so, last, hooray for Brandon, he's a horse's tail. Horses, holy. Okay, now, and winning the heat, Makamai and poor Makamai. Hip hip. Hip hip. Hip hip. And winning the men's open, champion of the 40th annual Buffalo Big Board Surfing Classic, Dwayne DeSoto. Hip hip. And winning the Alaya 40th annual Buffalo Big Board Surfing Classic champion, Makamai DeSoto. And winning the 40th annual Buffalo Big Board Surfing Classic Tandem Championships here at Macau Surfing Beach, Dwayne and Kel Nui Nui. Melvin, Melvin, come lift me. Come on, Melvin, my turn. No lane, no lane. Ikaika Van Giesen. Hey, right there. And the five boat champion for the Buffalo Big Board Surfing Competition, Jonathan Powell. And we'd like to present you with this door. And all the way from Honolulu, winning the legends, Dennis Sombrano. All right, Ready, you want a surfboard? Oh, that is Ma Manny like borrow. And winning the sub squash final, Phil the Mana. Hip hip. All right. Hip hip. Mahalo. You can choose to take this home, put it on your wall, or you can give it to somebody, whoever you like. Okay, so. Right here from uh, Bouvet. Uh, yeah, I'd like to give this bar to uh, Ronson. Where's Ronson? Ronson, come here, Ronson. Dad calling you. Ronson, watch out. Ronson, watch out. Said. Remember Ronson? From now on, you gotta be a good boy. So I'm gonna take the board back. Love you, Uncle Buff. Thank you. Welcome home, boy. A long time ago, Buffalo being a lifeguard out here to Mayor Blaisdell, who many of you don't even remember who he was, but Mayor Blaisdell, a great mayor, made Buffalo a lifeguard for life. And we're so lucky to have him here with us all these years showing us how to be better, how to live up to the best parts of ourselves. And winning the heat, share me the money, Jimmy Carolina. Yeah, you know, we we have like the Ironman, you know, triathlon where people compete running, swimming, you know, biking, that kind of stuff. In my father's event, there's 14 events. So you see the extreme of all the, the best men and women from around the world competing in all different aspects of um, ocean abilities. Everything from body surfing to bully boarding, sub squatching, tandem surfing. So e everything and stuff. And everybody who do compete ends up cramping out. I for one, raise your hand. Who's cramped out? Raise your hand. Come on, Melvin. I so passed out. We all crapped out. If you ain't crapping out, you ain't competing. Okay. Either that or you're really, really young. Right, Michael? <laughs> okay. So anyway, the Waterman's Award. And we also have recognizing our water women also too. The award going like this. We're looking in the context of not just the competition of who 
won the most events or who had the most points but really everybody understand what that entailed this contest to be you know it's not about everybody coming down here and who's the best in the water it who instills the family values of what makaha beach has always meant to us guys everybody in our water becomes our family everyone who walks on our sand becomes our family when you walk down the coast you know you can get fed because every tent every place from the DeSotos to the Van Giesens, you know everybody along the way all treats each other as family and that's who we are yeah. down here so we proud of who we are you know people talk about bad things of what happened down here but people over here extreme people you treat us nice we treat you extremely nice just don't treat us bad that's all okay <laughs> So no, we keep things real. That's how it is, right? You know, if somebody break one law out here, they're not gonna call the cops. They're gonna call grandma. Grandma gonna come down. They're gonna pull you in. That's worse than calling the cops. Okay. So anyway, getting back to the watermen and water women. Okay. So again, it's all about the values of what we instill about having our kikis around us, about teaching them being in the ocean. The things that made me and my family successful was being in the ocean. My work and play evolves in and around the ocean. My education comes from around the ocean. And all of us, I'm not saying I, it's we all support one another. So for the Water Women's Award in competing in the most events and the highest points and, all of, and also instilling the values that we all have is my daughter actually, Ha Keolana. Oh, there you go, Ha. Not only for all the highest points that she scored, but for her, uh, you know, her dedication on shooting Macaw through her eyes of her camera, her lenses, and through social media. Uh, she has placed Macaw Beach, the west side, on social media like no one else has ever done, um, which, which gave her some good work with Tony Country, with Aulani and Disney and all of that. So, Congratulations, huh? You know, for the men also too. So I'm gonna tell you guys, you know, a lot. There's also the rivalries, you know, of, of each families that we have, and it it's the fun, you know, competition way. Because if we have on sound mic out in the water and stuff, my God, we'd be making our own reality show and probably be rolling in a lot of money. Um, the DeSotos, the Van Giesens, the Keolanas, you know, all the, the, the Pattersons, um, e everybody and stuff also too. So, the men's, again, who instilled the whole values of what we have and stuff also too. It came down to really two brothers. Was it the Keolanas or the DeSotos? So it came down to the DeSotos. It was between Dwayne and Makamai. Dwayne, for all you guys of what Dwayne does, you know, with Nakamakai. Dwayne takes what he's grown up to be all treasures in life of, of, you know, sharing our ocean, sharing our knowledge, you know, that kind of stuff. And from Nakamakai, and Dwayne takes that around, you know, everywhere that he goes, he takes a little bit of Makaha and plants it everywhere that he goes, any place in the world. And he has a thousand of volunteers that he also cloned himself, you know, and that kind of thing also too. Makamai also too, stands right on the side of his brother also too, you know, and supports him in any endeavor that he also do. And they have great parents and stuff. But getting down to the Waterman's Award, really, the winner is Makamai. <laughs> Oh, hooray for Makamai! Hooray at last! Hooray for Makamai! He's a horse! He's a horse! Oh, bully! Alright, this is the biggest award right here. <laughs> ah, I like to think, oh, my uncles and my aunties for teaching me this lifestyle that me and my brother try to live every day and what we do for the kids we try to share with everybody that helps us 
and he's the biggest inspiration in my life, honestly. He teaches me to be the man that I am, just like my dad did. And he taught me to um, always share my good knowledge with the younger kids, which is what we're doing. And now he has seven kids that we got to pass on the torch to and let them rise up and be like all of us. Like all the Kelana boys, those are my brothers too. I love all you guys. Thank you, Uncle Brian, for um, letting me come on the ski this weekend and, or last weekend and teaching me everything that I should learn and know. It's very important to learn that stuff. And most of all, I want to thank you, Uncle Buff. You created this. It's an honor to do this every year. Aloha.